but look, I don't want to be in trouble. I don't like you, and I don't like your radio. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> can, you just, can you just leave me alone? Maybe I don't like your little radio program. What you have to say about that? <laughs> hey there, pal. Oh, it's you. You need to grow a spine, pal. I didn't ask for this. I'm just trying to have a drink. I don't... I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. Come on, man. Take a stand. Don't chicken out here. I, I don't think I, I could uh, do that thing that you're describing. <laughs> With these men, it could... Well, it, it could... It could turn violent. Don't worry. I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work... We're right behind you. Okay, that's... Well, that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you say something? I said... I said, that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Uh, nah, I don't think so. I... I mean it. Leave me alone! Well, sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? I'll... I'll, I'll beat you up! Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Travis. Oh, um. Hi. There. Adim. What the hell is wrong with you? You were supposed to help Travis in fight, not murder people in my bar. Why would you think this is okay? I'm really sorry, Vadim. I guess I just. Lost my temper. I am thinking perhaps I have invited Psychopath to help with this plan. <sighs> I will try and fix the situation which you have made messing of. In meantime, I need you to not kill anyone and help with the rest of the plan. Okay? You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her. And I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. I could have a chat with her. <laughs> yes, I know. This is why I'm telling you. Apparently, I also need to say, please do not be killing anyone. Okay? This is for helping Travis, not murdering for fun. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis, and this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right?
Miss? I'm on a break right now. Can I ask you something personal? It's about Travis. Travis? Really? Did he... Did he mention me? Uh, I heard about the fight. Travis was... Well, he was brave. Would you like it if he had mentioned you? Well, yeah. I guess I would. I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him, and I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. education for every citizen. And while the paper might point their fingers at synths and other ghost stories to drive us apart, we will not betray this sacred trust. Now, I want everyone to hear these next words very carefully. I am not a synth. I am the same flesh and blood boy who grew up on these streets, who was born in a shack just down the waterfront to Martha and Patrick McDonough. And I will not abandon my city due to the heinous allegations of the press. God bless this city. God bless the wall. He's so full of shit. Hey, you fiend. This is terrible. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. He was up to no good, and look what's happened now. You've got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. What are you talking about? I am talking about Vadim. They took him. Men came in. They said they were friends of the ones you killed. It said Vadim owed them money because of what happened. He, he wouldn't pay, and then they grabbed him and said that they would make him pay. And then they just dragged him out. You have to do something. Please tell me you can do something. Do you know where they took him? No, I don't know. He's the one that uh, has always dealt with them. I've tried to avoid them. Travis might know. You should ask him, please. I, I don't want anything to happen to Vadim. Beat it. Hey, Travis. Hey there. What's going on? I need your help. Vadim's been kidnapped by friends of Bull. That's not funny. I'm not joking around, Travis. This is serious. I really do need your help. Wait. Really? Oh. Oh, man. Wow. Is this... This is because of what happened. Isn't it? It's... It's my fault. No, Travis. This is between Vadim and those men. It's not your fault. But if I hadn't gotten into that fight with them, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Don't do that to yourself. All we can do now is figure out how to make this right. Look, I don't... I don't really... I mean... I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing... Or in trouble, or whatever, then I'm gonna help get him back. It's probably gonna be dangerous. I expect things will get ugly. I'm not, I'm, I'm not stupid. I know that. I've heard enough to know they'll probably hold up at the old Beantown Brewery. We gotta go in there, show them we mean business, and, and then we can bring Vadim back. And everything will be okay. Right? I'll... I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. 
We'll settle this. I'm on a break right now. Oh, thank God. You're here. So this is it. Odds are, if they've got Vadim, he's inside. We're... We're gonna be okay, right? You know anything else about this brewery? Not really. I mean, I think it's... It's where their little gang hides out. There shouldn't be too many of them. Good. We get the drop on them. This should be a piece of cake. Any, uh... Any last-minute advice? I've never done anything like this. Just stay calm. Don't go crazy in there. Right. Calm. I can do calm. Calm, 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 calm. Okay. Can we just get in there before I totally lose my nerve? Making that smell needs to seek medical attention immediately. How do you find anything in here?
going to... What would come? I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you, thank you. You are true friend. Are there more of them? Are they gonna come after you again? No, no. This was best they could do. You got them. <laughs> These idiots had caps and chems just lying around. <laughs> they. They did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. Ah, and Travis, I am surprised to see you here. <laughs> hey, Vadim. I'm glad you're safe. How did you get roped into this? I, I wasn't forced or anything. I wanted to help. <laughs> you are full of surprises, my friend. Excuse me. Man, what a day, huh? Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been... Well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. You came through it all pretty well, Travis. That's good to hear. Thanks. Pretty well? I barely recognize you, Travis. After all this, I think about... The things that had me worried so much, and it just seems... silly, you know? Like, was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you. Your thoughts? I'd rather know an ugly truth than a sweet lie. Are things all right between us? Well, things aren't bad. <laughs> because believe me, you'd know if they were. But I suppose we could be doing better. That's all for now. All right. Going down. Sweet. <laughs> 